New year, new me, right? For some, change is good. If you're not changing in some way, you're not growing. And the way to change is by setting goals. Some people make some awesome goals. They get pumped. They start working towards it with excitement. And then a month or two later, they lose motivation or just forget. If that's the case and you want to keep actual goals, here are seven actionable tips you can take on how to set life goals for yourself. Number one, think deeply about what you want and why. No goal is worth completing unless you have a personal reason as to how and why that goal would benefit you. If you want to write a book but you actually hate writing and are only doing it to be famous, then it's probably not a goal that would be fulfilled. If you want to write a book to share a personal story that's important to you, then you're much more likely to write that book even if writing isn't your best skill. Think deeply about what you want and then even more deeply about why you want it. What emotions come up when you imagine achieving your goal? How will it impact your feelings about yourself, about your life, and about the world? If the reason is substantial and makes you feel excitement or passion, then that's a goal you'll want to reach for. Number two, make sure they are SMART goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. SMART goals are a concept that originated in the 80s, and it's stayed relevant ever since. There's been adjustment here and there, but the main idea remains the same. First, you want your goal to be specific. Saying, I want to get in shape this year is not doable because there is no definition of what in shape means to you. Do you want to have stamina to run a mile, to squat 40 pounds, to do a pull up? Be specific. The M stands for measurable. You need a way to be sure you've reached your goal or are progressing towards it. For example, if you want to make money this year, your goal needs to have a number. The A then moves us to attainable. If you're 80 years old and you want to become an astronaut after studying accounting your whole life, this is not an attainable goal. Be realistic. The R brings us to relevant. This ties back into our first step. Your goal must connect to you and your life. Don't pick something just because other people think it's a good idea. Finally, we have T for time bound. A goal without a deadline is just a dream. Set a date for completion and be hard on yourself to stick to it. If you can stick to this, you'll have a solid achievable goal. Number three, make a plan. Okay, so you decided on your goals. You want to do A, B, C, D before actually reaching it. You know when you want to do this by and it should be something you're passionate about completing. Now, how will you do it? You don't just wake up one day and run a marathon. I mean, unless your body is capable of doing it. Every goal has multiple steps, so take the time to plan and prep it. Number four, write it down. A goal without a deadline is a dream, and a goal not written down is just a thought. One thought out of thousands that you have every day that falls through the cracks and don't mean much. Write your goal down, print or cut out pictures to envision what reaching your goal would look like, put it all together into something neat and appealing, make it stand out, this is your future after all. Number five, keep your goals visible. Remember when you wrote down your goals, now it's time to publish them. Only for you though. Hang them up somewhere you can see them every day. That's right, every single day. You know the saying, out of sight, out of mind. So it's important to always have your goals in sight and you guess it, in mind. I normally stick mine on the ceiling above my bed so every morning when I wake up, it's the first thing I see. Number six, tell someone. While it's not good to go blabbing about what you're planning to do when you haven't actually done it, a little blabbing could actually go a long way. That's because when you tell someone about something we are working on, it puts pressure on us to finish that project. If not, we are only letting ourselves down, but that other person as well. Confiding in someone you trust about your goals could give you a support system and accountability all in one. Ask them to check in on you every now and again or turn to them when you feel stressed about completing your goals. Number seven, take action. All right, my friends, you're getting there. You have your goals. They're meaningful to you. They're S-M-A-R-T smart. 
They're written down, posted, and shared. Now let's get to it. Take that first step, that first part of your plan, and do it today. You might be tired, you might want to wait until the weekend, but there's no reason to postpone. Make a stride towards your goal today and you will thank yourself tomorrow, I promise. This list really pumped me up. I'm always envisioning my own goals and getting excited about how I'll feel once I reach them. There's nothing like that feeling of accomplishment while making moves towards your own vision of the big leagues. If you have more tips on how you've reached goals in the past, make sure to post them down below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more weekly uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.